So we've already made those uh, spur of the moment spins that we regret, or we spent a little too much on something we shouldn't have. So today our money expert is helping us train our brains to make better financial decisions. We have Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group joining us this morning. Dustin, good morning. Good morning. Okay, we've all done it. In fact, surveys show three out of four U.S. adults have a financial regret. What's happening? Our, our brain says maybe not. Our heart says, our heart I don't know. says one thing We're and not, our brain it's says not something all else. Working out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, don't don't be alarmed, right? Uh, this is normal, right? So our brains are really hardwired uh, to maybe overvalue that immediate gratification much more than you know any sort of delayed rewards that we might have. So this is just really normal. This is kind of who we are as humans, right? But it does affect our finances for sure. Can you talk about some of the well-known biases that we have when it comes to money? Yeah, absolutely. So each one of us has uh, biases when it comes to money, but a uh, few of them are more you know, common than others. So one of them is called anchoring. And this is the idea that you maybe give more weight uh, to an idea that you may first have heard. So for example, well, my dad always told me when I was a kid, X, Y, Z, right? Uh, so you tend to anchor towards that. Uh, another bias that's very common is something that we call overconfidence, right? Uh, we all have this, uh, but this is that idea that you're overestimating your own ability and perhaps uh, downplaying any sort of risks. Mm -hmm. And and the third one that I think is uh, I see a lot is what I call confirmation bias, right? This is that idea that you tend to seek out information that agrees with you, right? Okay. right. So you want to believe the stock market's going to crash tomorrow? There's someone on the Internet who will say that. Sure. Right, exactly. Every day. <laughs> uh, does keeping up with the Joneses, does that part of this too? Yeah, a little bit, right? I mean, our what we see on social media and what we see with our peers really does affect us, right? And so we tend to believe that all that glitter is gold, right? And that if, if the people down the street are buying a new car, you should as well. And so we try to keep up with that. I was going to say, forget social media. I'm just looking down the street. I'm yeah. looking like, oh, <laughs> look so, at Barbara exactly. there. So, Dustin, you say we can train our brain a, a bit better. What are some ideas on doing that? Yeah, so I say that uh, always seek out other uh, uh, perspectives. So what does that mean, right? So talk to your friends, talk to, uh, you know, per, per, perhaps a professional, uh, find other people's opinions because the more you hear those other opinions, it may change uh, how you think about things. So that's that's one of the things. When you say when uh, you say opinions, do you mean differing opinions? Because you could have someone who just agrees with you, but you want differing opinions, right? Correct. Yeah, that's that confirmation bias, yeah. right? So ask various people. So this could be coworkers, this could be family members, just other people that you see out there in, in your life and just ask them, well, what are you doing about your money? How do you handle these mm -hmm. things? You don't have to get into details, right? Right. Uh, but, but at least get a sense of what people are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other and, tips? Uh, yeah, so the other one that I always like to say is, you know, you, you can make spending a little bit harder. Mm. <laughs> so, that's not fun, Dustin. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but just make it a little bit more difficult, right? So sometimes uh, if you're if you're having a really hard time watching your money, sometimes using cash can be a right. good the use of that, right? So because you get a visual representation of that dollar sure. amount going down, right? Uh, or force yourself to pay off your credit card every month, right? Because, you know, that immediate gratification feels wonderful, but all of a sudden if you start having to pay off your credit card every single month, right, that may change some of your behavior. Hmm. Little things that you can do. Yep. Absolutely. Justin, as always, thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks for having me.